Hey YouTube, it's Ain't That a Mother. And we have a special guest. Papa's here. She's cooking dinner right now. Um, shrimp stir fry. It smells really good. And I'm having a snack. Um, the Oreo Nabisco 100 calorie cookies. These are really, really good. Um, Marquita and Krista, my heart really goes out to you guys. I'm definitely praying for you. I hope that everything works out for the best. Um, for you guys as well as for your families um, I'm really sad to hear about everything that's going on um, and I'm definitely praying for you guys um, it's always sad when something like that happens and we're all close so keep us all updated take all the time you need though um, the last video that I did I talked about how um, I might end up having to get a different donor because um, he's selling out really, really quick. And I figured out why. Um, I think one of the girls on the donor leaked um, his number. And everybody went crazy after she got pregnant. And so he kind of sold out kind of quick. Um, there's still a chance that I might be able to get him. But in the case that I can't, I've got um, two other donors on standby just in case. So we'll see how that works out. Um, in the supplies video, I forgot to tell you guys about the prenatal vitamins that I'm taking. Um, the one a day women's health prenatal. And it comes in two different bottles. This one is actually, oops, almost dropped it. This one is a multivitamin. And then this one is the DHA, which is good for the development of the baby's spine um, and prevents against spinal bifida and things like that. So I've been taking these since February. Um, and these are one a day with food. I have taken them without food before and they do make me feel nauseous so um i'm up to 11 subscribers now so shout out to all of you guys all my new subbies um baby blue dust 2012 jatil and annie sonia lesbian family diaries miss lolly um la essence of isis lexi and nani um mrs princess die Melly Ellie, she just subscribed today, so hi. And then um, Lost Dragon Thirty Nine and Tommy K Eight Junior, those are actually personal friends of mine. So not to you guys. Um, I told you guys I wanted to take more time with you and just kind of talk and hang out because, like I said, the one before was kind of rushed, and then the last one was just a really quick update. So. One of the things I wanted to talk about was me quitting smoking. It was really, 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 really hard, but I did it. So I don't know if any of you other girls are dealing with it, but it is possible to quit smoking. Um, I started smoking when I was probably about 19, something like that. Probably about a half a pack a day. Me and my girlfriend would share a pack about a half a pack a day, something like that. So it was really bad though. Like first thing in the morning, as soon as I wake up, I wanted to have a cigarette. TMI felt like I couldn't poop without one it's true <laughs> um but yeah I was able to finally quit I had quit back in like March for two weeks I was doing really really good we decided we were going to go out and have drinks one night with friends and um I told them before we even left like if we're going to drink I'm having a cigarette and they were fine with it I smoked that night and that very next morning I was right back into my old habit again and um so today has officially been three weeks since my last cigarette go me it was hard but i did it yeah my hair is kind of crazy this is my natural hair by the way this is what's always hanging out the side of all my cute hairstyles these crazy curls they're hard to contain yeah so you mind your business cooking person but yeah, um, so yeah, I quit smoking. I started watching what I eat. But see, the thing about it was, is I was trying so hard to be perfect that I kind of crashed. Back in February, I changed the way I ate. I started trying to change, you know, my drinking and smoking habits. Because, yeah, I like to drink too. I like to have a good time. Um, and I was just trying to do too much at one time. Like, I really was. So I kind of threw a temper tantrum. Like, what was it like late March, early April, something like that? I threw a temper tantrum for like two weeks and did whatever the hell I wanted to do. So back, I'm back on 
watching what I eat again. Lots of fruits and vegetables, salads, stuff like that. I still slip up. I had sushi twice this week. I told you about once. I didn't tell you about the second time I had sushi. Yeah. But, um, I know I'm not going to be able to have sushi for a long time. So, yeah. I'm enjoying it now. I'm a rebel. I live life on the edge. <laughs> but... I'm trying to stay on track as best as possible. And then I try to think about it like this. Like, there's girls all the time who get pregnant <clears throat> that aren't even, like, trying necessarily. And they're doing a bunch of dumb stuff. So that doesn't necessarily give me an excuse. But at the same time, I don't have to be perfect. I mean, I'm human. Um, This week, we did a papa class, I guess you could call it. <laughs> There was a lot of things as far as the insemination that I felt she didn't know. And she's kind of not one of those kind of people who just likes to talk a lot. And I wanted to know that she knew what she was doing when time came to actually do the insemination. So, um, you know what you're doing? What are you doing? Inseminating. What does that mean? Inseminating. You're inseminating. Mm. What'd you see on um, beautifulservice.com? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> there are people who want to know. Oh, babe, you can't say stuff like that on YouTube. You can't? No. Oh my god. Anyway. Believe me, they heard you. Yes, excuse her language. This is her first video, so be kind. But, um, yeah, so there was a couple of different things that I showed her just to get her prepared for what to expect. And just so she can get kind of familiar with what her duties will be once the tank gets here and we get our smiley face and everything like that. So, um, one of the first things I did was I took her on the Northwest Forum, which I've told you guys about before. It's a really, really good source of information. Um, and I told you guys about how on the site they have um, different posts that have been labeled as what they call sticky, which means that they're very important posts. Um, so, like, they have ones for different fertility foods and things like that, but they also have a sticky for um, what the tank actually looks like when it gets here. And it shows pictures of the box and everything that comes in the box and how you remove the vials and I pretty much showed her all those pictures so she knows what she's looking for you know what I mean so she knows what to expect and it's not like a freaking UFO landed in our living room basically <laughs> um, and then yeah beautifulcervix.com is very informational too for both parties the inseminator and the inseminati I guess anyway um, but yeah, beautifulservice.com, basically they have um, different categories. Well, basic, like, I guess you would call them like photo galleries of like several different women. And they take pictures of their cervix like throughout their whole cycle from cycle day one all the way through Aunt Flo. So that's why she said what she said when she said it. But yeah, um, so basically I just showed her what she would be looking for as far as what a open cervix looks like and where it should be found and things like that. So we're probably going to do a test run before we actually do the insemination, but just to get her warmed up to the idea because she freaks out sometimes. <laughs> it's true. It's not like they don't know you're here. You're showing the camera like where I'm at. Though. I'm trying to so, hide. No. Baby, don't move my camera. You're going to make my viewers dizzy. Don't put that camera on me. <laughs> Can we show them Kimber? Oh, that's messed up. There's Kimmy. Say hi, Kim. Oh, you're camera shy too. That sucks. Anyway. Like her pop one. Anyway, yeah, Kim loves her papa. So, we went on beautifulcervix.com. We looked at what an open cervix looks like and what exactly she's going to be looking for. Um, I also showed her the Fertility Friend app. Um, 
basically giving her a history on how I found out when was going to be a good time for us and everything like that. Um, we go over our TTC calendar probably, what, about three times a week at least? Mm -hmm. Just to make sure that she's aware of the timeline. Like, the first time she saw it, the first time I saw it, I was like, holy crap. Like, where did the time go? Because we kept saying, May, 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 and May, and May. Everything's going to happen in May. And then all of a sudden, in April, I sat down and did that freaking calendar. Whoa. Like, I didn't realize when I first did it how close we really were. So then when I showed her, she kind of freaked out too. Like, why didn't you tell me? And I'm like, I'm telling you now. So we go over our calendar a couple times a week together um, just so that we're all aware of what's going on. And I look at the calendar probably about 70 million times a day as if it's going to change miraculously or something. Um, sorry about that. I'm looking at my phone. That's where my notes are. Um, also, another really cool tool that I use uh, both to help me stay on track and to keep her updated on what's going on is um, the California Cryo Bank, which is not my personal bank, but they also have some pretty good uh, resources too. They have what's called the insemination countdown list on there. It's basically like a checklist. Um, that'll tell you like okay at this point you should be choosing your donor at this point you should be contacting um, your doctor and things like that because like I said before that particular bank doesn't offer in-home um, inseminations they only let you inseminate through a doctor so that's part of the reason why I'm not using them I went with Northwest because I can make my own baby at home like a normal person kind of um, also, I um, made sure that I went online and I googled the closest UPS store to us and got the directions and everything because um, the tank is going to need to be dropped off at a UPS center after we're done with it to get it back to the cryobank. And um, we both work a lot, but she works less than I do. So more than likely, it's going to be her that's dropping the tank off. So I want to have all that kind of stuff ready now. So that we're aware of where the place is. We're not getting lost and driving in circles and all that other kind of stuff. And just because I know it's going to be a crazy week, we're going to be really excited. So just in case we go completely retarded during that week, <laughs> at least we have something to fall back on. Um, so yeah, that pretty much is everything that I went over with Papa with. She says that she feels pretty confident, right? On what her duties are. Ready to go. You ready to go? Let's get a hoorah. Will you come on? Quit being <laughs> such a... Hoorah! Five letter word that. Strap on the fucking latex gloves. Let's go. <laughs> so yeah, we're close to 13 minutes. I'm gonna start another video. See you in a minute.